coverage. We're also tracking the Cascade Fire that's burning in Yuba County tonight, where we've learned that one person has been confirmed dead. This fire has scorched an estimated 8,200 acres. It's destroyed dozens of homes. As many as 10,000 people have been evacuated now from the area. CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is live now in Yuba County with a look at the damage there. Jen? Sam and Christina, the damage done to this neighborhood is absolutely devastating. Dozens of homes reduced to rubble. The woman who lives here couldn't even get her car out of the driveway or her horse out of the corral. Unfortunately, that's what many people in this neighborhood were dealing with. The Yuba County community of Loma Rica woke up to a wall of flames. It happened so fast. The winds were just tremendous and it was just pretty horrifying. Homeowners desperate to flee. I got to get out of here because if you don't, you're going to die. Sunday's late night blaze swept through the area fast under red flag conditions. And the winds, they were 40 to 50 miles an hour. By daylight, it was clear dozens of homes were gone. I was expecting the worst. Daniel Kirsten's family was lucky. When I mean, they were able to send pictures throughout the day saying, okay, your house is fine, that was just a huge uh, relief for us, just knowing that everything was okay and everything was still here. Others lost just about everything. The owner here that had this house here that um, she came to us this afternoon and said that her home burnt down, but was told that her horse was left here and she was an elderly lady and she was crying and she begged us to please come get her horse. Volunteers with the Sutter Sheriff Posse did just that. I wanted to let you know that we found your horse. And we got her loaded. We got her loaded in the trailer. A silver lining among so much heartache. Oh my God, thank you so much. You're very welcome. We look forward to seeing you. Liz, thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. That makes it worth it. But other animals didn't make it. All the people where we're standing had no notice other than waking up to flames and fire burning outside their home. As these flames continue to spread, there's concern for the Laporte fire to the north. These fires now are actually still growing and getting close to each other. They could potentially become just one large uh, burned area. Those whose homes still stand are thankful for firefighters. They're heroes. But know their neighborhood may never be the same. Fire officials are keeping a close eye on that fire burning to the north and hoping that overnight winds don't change that outcome out here. All right, Jen, thanks so much. Jennifer McGraw live for us tonight in uh, Yuba County. I mean, I just can't